What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I cover all the lines of sight, wall runs, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in Infinite Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the first of the Sabotage DLC, and that is Dominion. And Dominion is a remake from the map Afghan from Mono Warfare 2. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so first up here, I've got a great line of sight, usually with a sniper rifle, but an assault rifle would work as well, up to the cliff area. Everybody knows the cliff area is where everyone wants to be, and there's almost always somebody up there, so if you have the, the low point here, they typically have the advantage over you, and it's hard to get a good line of sight on them where they don't have the advantage, but I've got one for you right here. You're very difficult to see through here. If you come up to the front of this plane, all you have to do is look through this area right here, and you can easily pick them off through there. Like I said, works best with a sniper rifle, but assault rifles and LMGs will work as well. Now another line of sight in the middle of the map to get a nice line of sight in towards the caves, because a lot of times people like to camp in there because it's nice and dark. You jump up to this area right here and you strafe over just enough. You don't want to go too far or else you'll just fall off of there really easily. You can look through this crack right here and pick people off that are in the caves. They usually can't see you at all when you're doing this and you have a very clear advantage here. Just keep in mind, you are very exposed to the cliff and also just be aware of people that might be flanking you over here. If you know they're in the caves though, then you've got a great line of sight. One alternative to that, and this is great if they're coming off of A spawns as well as the cave spawns here, this is what I would call a power position. If you wedge yourself into this area here, if you're crouched, you're completely hidden, stand up, nice line of sight towards the cave. It's not like absolutely perfect, it's not like they'll never like not see you here. They'll still be able to see you, but you obviously have a very clear advantage here over them. Also, if you crouch right here, you get a nice line of sight to that corner where a lot of people like to come around when they come off A spawns, which is excellent. And you're also completely covered from that window over there, which is a really common spot for people to sit. So you don't have to worry about that at all. You just have to worry about people that are flanking there and again up on the cliff. Now, getting up on top of where the cliff is, a nice line of sight if enemies are going to be coming around that corner over there. A lot of times they'll try and catch you as you're on the cliff here and they'll just shoot people in the back. But if you know they're going to be coming around there... Uh, people will sometimes like wedge themselves here, but this is pretty much exactly where they're looking for you. If you've got the time, or maybe if you're just coming around this corner and you've cleared the cliff and you know enemies are going to be over there, you can jump up and wedge yourself, not all the way up like that, but just jump up and wedge yourself up like that. I made it look way more difficult than it actually is. You just jump and there you go. You wedge yourself in here. You get a great line of sight into this area here, as well as anybody over towards the B flag. Just an excellent way to challenge them. Now from inside the caves here, a lot of times you get kind of spawn trap back towards the cave spawns here and it's really hard to break out because you have enemies set up in power positions like in that window there. That's a huge power position. They can pretty much completely shut down this cave entrance so nobody can get out of here and go towards the middle of the map and that can really suck sometimes. But I've got a great line of sight to take them out. All you have to do is come all the way back here and you'll be very very hidden from them. Lay down back in this area right here and you can strafe out and there you go great line of sight in there it's very difficult to see you the lighting is a little bit weird so you actually light up a little bit more than you might expect but as long as you're fairly quick with your shot most of the time they won't pick you off before you get a nice clean line of sight on them now getting back over towards the sea domination flag here this is where a lot of people like to sit to challenge the cliff area but most people know about this line of sight and you actually have a disadvantage here since you have less cover than them and you're also a lower elevation than them so they'll pick you off most of the time if you're doing that what i like to do as an alternative if i want to lock down the sea flag area with a sniper rifle is come back to this corner area right here it gives you a line of sight on a decent amount of that cliff you can't see the whole cliff like the right side but a lot of times this is all you need to see is that side right there that's where everybody will be so if you're back here you can easily pick them off through there and they don't normally look in this particular area back here so you're pretty much safe from the people on the cliff. You can always crouch and kind of move to the side if, if you feel like you're taking some heat from there. Uh, it also allows you to kind of pay attention to this area a little bit and also right over here. So if they decide to come around the cliff and through that area right there to try and get towards the sea flag, you can also pick them off there. You just have to be keeping your head on a swivel. Don't just get tunnel vision up here. You want to be constantly checking all the areas and you can lock this area down very effectively from that position. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, if you're coming toward, or from the C flag towards the B flag, once you come around this corner, you can actually get a bit of a line of sight on the cliff right there. Tons of people don't know about this little line of sight, and it's always great to check that area. Once you know this is safe, of course, like you're checking here, checking here. As you come around the corner, have a quick look here. A lot of times you get a nice free kill because they're never looking over towards this way. They're looking on the other areas of the map. So sometimes you can pick off an easy kill. Now, getting all the way to this side of the map, if you're attacking B from this direction, 
I mean, it's still great to come around the corner like this. Usually the snipers are looking the other way anyways. You just shoot them in the back. But sometimes you got a guy set up somewhere using some cover and he's ready for you to come around that corner. So if you're a little bit paranoid or you just happen to know that somebody's doing that, you can jump to that ledge right there. There's actually a ledge. Don't miss it or else you'll fall off the map. But if you can make it to this ledge here like that, you're nice and safe and you're also being very sneaky and you can get around like this. Sometimes you can get all the way around like this and they'll have no clue what hit them because they'll be watching that corner really, really carefully and they won't know that you made it around that way. Now this window over here can be a little bit pesky sometimes if the enemies have control over it, especially if you got a solid sniper set up in there and he's just picking you off from all the common places. If you can get to this position here up on the plane, that's a decent way to challenge them, but a lot of times like if they find you there, what I like to do is I like to rotate around like this and there you go, you get another great line of sight on them using this as kind of a head glitch and you also are kind of in the darkness and it's kind of difficult to see you here so you'll win this gunfight quite often against those guys unless they're really on point now all the way back towards the a flag here if you expect enemies to be coming through that building area there you can jump up on top of this vehicle and it gives you a little bit of a line of sight there you'll just see like their head and a bit of their shoulders as they come around that corner and you might be able to pick them off through there with a sniper rifle and just an alternative to that is to come up here. You get to see a little bit more of them if you come up in this area here, and you can pick them off. Now, getting over to this area over behind the sea flag, if you have enemies that are be going to be coming through this bunker area right here, this is great for opening routes as well, because it's very often that you'll get guys coming through there. You can jump right up on top of this area here, strafe a little to the right, and you get a nice line of sight into that building. You can't see the entire doorway, so maybe they'll, they'll find a way to sneak through there, but most of the time you'll at least be able to catch a glimpse of them, and sometimes you'll be able to pick them off through there. Now, one final line of sight that I wanted to point out for you guys. This is relatively obvious to a lot of people, but I still see so many people doing this. They try to challenge the cliff area from here, from this big window here. To those guys that are on the cliff, this piece of cover means almost nothing because they have such a big height advantage over you. So they get to see most of your body, and they expose as much of themselves as they want. They can expose just the tip of their head if they're playing it properly up there. So they always have the advantage over you in this scenario. So this is not the right way to be challenging the guys on the cliff. Instead, you could use that line of sight up here like I showed you earlier. But if you are in this building and you have people up on the cliff, I prefer to challenge from this direction over here. Yes, you'll still get sniped out of here sometimes, but it's just so much better than trying to challenge from the big window right here. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Maps Exposed. Let me know in the comment section below, which one of the Sabotage DLC maps would you like me to cover next? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.